America's most advanced fighter just got a lifeline to 2032 and beyond. Yet critics say none of it fixes a brutal truth. The Lightning II still struggles. Today on Defense Firepower, we unpack the data behind the hype and ask whether the world's priciest fighter can survive without dogfighting skills. Tech Refresh 3 is a brain transplant, a new integrated core processor, more memory, and an updated panoramic display that unlock Block 4 weapons, EW, and sensor upgrades. Think of it as the operating system that makes tomorrow's apps run. Lockheed says TR3 delivers about 25 times the computing power of the older TR2, the foundation for Block 4's bigger missile load, better electronic attack, and sharper target recognition. But it's not all smooth. TR3 integration slowed deliveries across 2023 to 2024, forcing the Pentagon to accept jets with limited combat capability until software matures. And while the Pentagon says upgrades will last through 2032, Government Accountability Office reports already show Block 4 slipping into the 2031 to 2032 window. In other words, 2032 isn't a finish line, it's a moving target. Here's the controversy. The F-35's design trades extreme agility for stealth and sensors. Small control surfaces, no thrust vectoring, and high wing loading mean energy bleeds fast in tight turns. The national interest bluntly states the F-35 can do anything except win a dogfight. The reason is physics. Its thrust-to-weight ratio dips below 1 to 1 when fully loaded. Its top speed is limited to Mach 1.6 compared to Mach 2 Plus for older fighters. And even with full afterburner, the Lightning II simply can't match the instantaneous turn rates of lighter jets like the F-16 or Russia's Su-35. In red flag exercises, when fights stay beyond visual range, the Lightning has posted 15 to 1 to 20 to 1 kill ratios, driven by stealth and first shot tactics. But if stealth is compromised, or ROE force visual ID, the jet's limits matter again. But this raises a critical point. If counter stealth tech forces the F-35 into close combat, will its trillion dollar advantage vanish the moment the merge begins? The F-35's edge is information, fusing radar, electro-optical sensors, and electronic warfare into a shared picture to ambush threats before they see you. Block 4 enhances that kill chain and paves the way for next-gen AIM 260J TM, a classified long-range AM meant to outrange China's PL-15 and complement AMR AAMD3. In that world, data in reach trump raw turn rate. That's why allies keep doubling down on the platform, but doctrine cuts both ways. Adversary sensors, counter stealth radars, or close range engagements can drag the jet back into WVR combat, where the F 35's design compromises resurface. Numbers time. GAO now pegs total life cycle costs more than $2 trillion, with sustainment alone at approximately $1.58 trillion over a 77 year life. That makes the F 35 the most expensive weapons program in history. Meanwhile, Block 4 has been re scoped and slipped, with completion no earlier than 2031, even as some elements are deferred to match engine cooling slash power limits. Unit prices remain steep, approximately $82.5 million for an F-35A in recent lots. Upgrades will keep the jet relevant, but they arrive late and at a steep price. So here's the verdict. The F-35 is evolving into a flying supercomputer, lethal when it controls the terms of the fight. But no software patch rewrites physics inside the merge. Will 2032's upgrades keep America's spear point out of knife range? Or will a future war expose a weakness money can't fix? Tell us what you think below. If you found this video insightful, like, share, and subscribe to Defense Firepower. Stay vigilant, stay locked, and loaded.